Ma Master Roy, then I feel like Mega's gonna body him. But if the Roy know, at least knows, uh, yeah, like has an understanding of his danger zone, knows when to go in, when when knows when not to, I feel like Roy should have no problem against a character like this. But this is Mega we're talking about. He's pretty good with this guy. Yeah, and all the, the game plan should be to smother Ike because he doesn't have a lot of rising aerials. Like you'll notice that he's tomahawking and he can only really do stuff on the way down. And Roy is in extremely fast and has really good options for that. So if if uh, if Carful starts like you know catching on to that, he can just watch and react to Ike jumping in place and then go do an up air, do a forward air, do a nair. That's the, the game plan. Also, Ike's out of shield game. It's not bad. That up B is like super dangerous, but it's also not the fastest like up B out of shield. It's not like yeah. cloud up B or whatever where like you can kind of do it against anything touching your block. Um, so Roy has great shield pressure. I mean, that's going to determine the game. Missing a grab there. Wow. Yeah. Both guys just staring at each other in shield. It's similar to like it's similar to having that like sword up the out of shield as the dash attack does not take the stock, but Ike's is a little easier to bait if that makes any sense. And that's yeah. what you're gonna want to do because that has a lot more lag than a character like Clouds, who we sometimes compare to. I guess no stocks taken so far on the first one of this particular set in Winners Round Three. We are still in best of three territory. Ooh, that shield was so tiny. So Ike's love to do that. They love to like pressure your shield and then go okay. You're going to roll or dash back because you don't want me touching that shield a third time. And then they just do the dash attack. And that dash attack is insanely strong. Mm -hmm. That it is, my friend. That it is. I mean, this is Ike we're talking about. You cannot let this character get in on you, my friend. He's got some of the strongest, beefiest attacks in this entire game. Like you mentioned, it's sort of overwhelming him as that up tilt takes the stock on the platform. That's going to sort of spell that disaster. Horizontally, yeah. I feel like Roy will definitely got him beat, but... I actually kind of want to see, like, Carflow get Mega in the air a little bit more because what are the landing options of Ike besides that nair? Yeah, see, and that there he caught on to it. He saw Mega was just tomahawking in place, and he just did that, that the, the classic Roy, you know, just full drift nair into somebody. There's not a lot of things you could do about that. Like, even when you're playing a character with even better out of shield game. So with Ike, it's, it's it can be a little rough to, to deal with stuff like that sometimes. Yeah. He's getting these jump reads, though, on Carflow's part, my friend. I mean, yes. he knows, like, that Ike's options are pretty linear when it comes to coming back if Ike is not like high enough to get that side B out in the quick draw yeah that is not a good spot to be in his Ike ever and yeah Roy is really good right now especially car flow at catching these jumps with the back air even if he misses them he realizes that he's at least frame trapping and if he's not frame trapping he can get stage control off of that at the yeah. end of the day so that's actually a huge thing in a matchup like this so I'm really Liking what I'm seeing from Carflow right now, he's doing a good job at recognizing where his danger zone is. And I, when you're playing a sort of mashy rushdown character like Roy, that's pretty important, Glenn. Yeah, and also we, we're just seeing that he's not, wow, a great reaction there. That up tilt, not safe on block. Um, and he was also a little too close. I mean, I think maybe if he was at full distance, he wouldn't have gotten up beat. But man, that was really good. Really good up B there from uh, Carflow. The other interesting thing about this matchup, and I, I, we haven't really seen it yet, but... A lot of characters that have counters, they Ike really hates because it's really hard for him to up B to the ledge without hitting a counter and dying for it. But Roy has like a weird counter where it's not like as big as like Krom, let's say, or some of the other Fire Emblem characters. So we'll see if that comes into play, but I'm actually really curious to see if it actually works. Me too, I'm not gonna lie. It's been a long time since I've seen this particular matchup, not since really the Wi-Fi era, but ooh, that is a oh, man, beefy, this... strong hitbox up uh, oh, up air that linked into the fair, but now we got Mega fighting his way in with a ton. Relatively even game right now. Both players swinging for the fences right now. Getting, ooh, he ooh. got the read, just misspaced it ever so slightly. His car flow might have potentially lost, uh, cost him the game right here. Still getting out of the quick draw, so. I thought he was gonna get forced into the ether right there. Right. Yeah, and it's weird because you gotta like, he reacted to the, to the tech roll in, but different characters have different lengths of tech rolls. So it, it's weird sometimes for you to like remember all that while wow, missing the side B there. Yeah, you don't want a directional air dodge when Roy's hitting you with that the, with that uh, dancing blade. Mm -hmm. Get a little bit of the wet noodle right there, the weak hitbox of the jab. Calling out the jump. Again, no rising aerials. So when you see Ike jump, you have to hit him. That is how you beat this character. Good job. Carflow really adapted well because at like, the beginning, I feel like he was still feeling it out, and he got caught by that dash attack, like picking a defensive option the first stock. But then he started catching on, doing exact. I think he's listening to the stream, like his <laughs> headphones. I think his headphones are like cued into the stream because like mm, got my guy was calling out the jumps by the end of this game. The beginning of the game, he was like not doing any of it. So I don't know. 
My really guy's definitely stuff. cheating right now. We gotta go check his uh, phone. Yeah, I think we point. should. I just heard something vibrate. I don't know what that was. If it was my phone or yours, probably his. Yeah, I think, he's, just, like, <laughs> think he's got the whole thing. He's just, got like, the stream linked dude. up in dude, here. Dude, honestly, honestly, I'm surprised that that hasn't been a problem. Like. That's kind of broken. You could actually kind of do that. At the early days of, like... have like, some AirPods and just listen to the commentators. You remember Nexus way back in the day? That yeah. was when me and Glenn got our starts. The commentator booth was so close that we could hear what they were saying. I took some of their advice mid-set. I heard it. Yeah. Well, I mean, at that point, it's not even your fault. I mean, you're not going to pretend you didn't hear something. Yeah, I mean, the you only thing you want me to do is just shut my ears off <laughs> to the world. So let's see Let's see if Mega can uh, figure out, like, an answer to, to getting anti-aired like this. I mean, one of the things about Roy as well is that his frame traps are really good. Like, he can literally just whiff an aerial in your face and still frame trap you with a grab or with something else. Like, this character's frame data is unbelievable. Yeah. In theory, he should be able to keep you in disadvantage for quite some time, especially a character as big as Ike. This is what I was talking about in that first game, man. It's on the way down that it's going to be pretty rough, putting himself in kind of a bad position right there. Losing his legend vulnerability is mega. Because like I mentioned earlier, man, like what else does he really have to get down besides that neutral air? Maybe back air if he's able to space it right, but even then... It's Roy, man. A good Roy player will know to parry stuff like that. And this character, he's got no projectiles, very heavy rushdown character. A good Roy player is going to know how to parry. Oh, missing a really big punish there. He could have just taken the stock, but I think he just reacted late. And he's going for these grabs, keeping him at disadvantage. And Mega go. Oh, my Ooh. goodness. Man, that is some ext extreme luck. That move kills. Wow, that guy using the super armor on the up B, car yeah. flow. Another up B. Really good. Yeah. It's like your up B doesn't work. I hope you fall. Out. I'm not gonna fall out of. Uh, you're not gonna fall out of my up B. Yeah. But I fall out of yours. Yeah, mine's a little bit quicker. I'm a tinier character. I can sort of beat you to the punch sometimes, and that's exactly what Carflow is doing again with this jab to back air. Patented. And the counter, there you baby. go. Baby, my guy has momentum, man. He is moving. He's such a momentum-based character too when yeah. it comes to Roar. You know, no projectiles, like heavy rush down. You know the drill. You see him going for the fences right there, trying to catch his jump with that forward air, despite Mega only being at relatively 30 percent. I'm not sure if the risk reward. Was too heavy in Carflow's favor right there, but he was up like he was up two stocks. So he, in his mind, it definitely was. This is a Roy that is feeling himself right now, all the way up to 77. And what did I say stock. about these parries? That what did I say? Stock. What did I say that about parries? It's a Roy man, and he he hit that detail. And that time he was like, oh, no, no, I, I know how far your tech roll goes because of the last game. Yeah. So I know that where I need to put myself. He's like, oh, I'm putting ooh, myself right there. Ooh, ooh, Get ooh, destroyed. Oh, my God. Oh my God. You're not Look getting down. You're not getting down. Oh, you don't. Enhance. Oh. Enhance. Dehance. <laughs> oh, boy. Bodied. Bodied.